Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs and today I've got a fun watercolor melon project for you. Um, this is the feature on my blog this week. I have a total of four projects for you so if you're looking for ideas for this great stamp set make sure you hop over there. Watercolor Melon is a limited time stamp. It's only available through the end of February 2024. It's part of our celebration collection. Celebration means free stuff. You get this free with a $50 purchase. There's lots of things to choose from, and this is one of the things that you can choose. Um, so I'm using Watercolor Melon. It's a great watercolor look. It has a great watercolor look to it. Um, the sentiment I'm using is from Sweet Citrus. Um, enjoy the sweeter things in life. We're going to cut it up because I also wanted to use these new mini uh, alphabet dies. Die. It's really just one die that you use. It's fantastic. Um, so I'm going to show you that as well. And I guess you would like to know what's on the inside, right? Well, I kind of, I'll be honest, I was stumped. I racked my brain. And then I started thinking about the summer. And I thought about these two things. Um, I actually didn't know this one um, existed. When I went to look for this one, I found these both at Walmart. They are little, you just pour them into your water bottle. And they're delicious. But I found online how you can make a little cocktail if you are at a maybe a pool party or at the lake like we go to. Um, you can add it to a uh, glass with ice and Sprite and then add a little bit of rum to it or vodka. Now, that's just if you like to have boozy drinks. If not, you can take the liquor out of your box and fill it with candy. These are watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Now, please forgive me. This is not the vodka or rum I would use. I would just use regular plain vodka or rum. This is all I had on hand. These are the little mini liquor bottles you get at the liquor store. Just It's like a one serving. So um, you pour this into your, your glass with a Sprite or you could even use um, sparkling water or um, I can't think of the name, uh, cl club soda or ginger ale and then add your liquor and you've got a fun little watermelon drink for the summer. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to make this slider box. The first thing we'll do is make the box. Um, you're gonna need, let me grab it. You're simply scored. There are three pieces to this box. The first one, is flirty flamingo it's eight by six and three fourths and we're going to score it at one and three fourths on all four sides okay now the second piece is the divider on the inside of your box the little little um wall that comes up let me open it for you see the little wall that can keep your things divided if you're just going to throw a bunch of candy in there you can leave this part out this is also Flirty Flamingo, and it is five by four and a half. And on the long side, you're gonna score it at one and a half, two and a half, and three and a half, all right? The third piece you need is a little tunnel that the, the box drawer slides in. This is basic black, it's four and five eighths by 11. On the long side, we're gonna score it at one and seven eighths, five and an eighth, seven, and 10 and a fourth. That's a lot of measurements I just threw at you. Don't worry, they're all on my blog. They are free, all the supplies and all the measurements. Okay, so the first thing, let's put this one together since it's right here. I am gonna get my uh, bone folder, make this nice and crisp. Now it is the dead of winter here. It's not time for the lake or the pool. But as soon as Christmas is over, I'm like, let's think about the summer. I get very excited. We have a new pool at my house that just finished at the, in the middle of October, so we really haven't gotten to use it. So we're very excited about the summer. This will be one of those fun drinks. And you know, even for my kids, they like these singles to go, adding them to uh, water or whatever. So, you know, it doesn't always have to be a boozy drink. Course, that's for the adults. I what I did, I should probably explain, is this smaller flap. I put two strips of tear and tape here, and if you fold it down and then fold this one over, it should be a perfect match. And there is your tunnel. Okay, now the uh, box we're going to uh, burnish these lines really well, 
And then I'm gonna take my, uh, let's see, there's two ways to do this. I kind of went back and forth, but this is the way that I think we're gonna, I think I'm gonna show you how to do it this way. Um, you're gonna cut these score lines in like this. Okay, and then cut about a quarter of the corner off. I'm not cutting the whole thing, but I'm cutting most of the outside corner. All right, now do the same thing here. When you, if you cut your flaps this way, you'll see they're gonna glue onto the end where you pull your drawer. And I feel like it's good because it strengthens that side when you pull it. The, uh, the bad part is that then it makes it thicker for us to put our little notches for our for your finger. Um, if your punch has trouble doing that, you can um, cut them this way. That way then the flaps would be adhered to this side. You know, it's, it's just kind of, it works both ways. I just went back and forth trying to decide which way to do it. And my punch did have a little bit of trouble punching through three layers of cardstock. Um, so maybe if we put these, see how I'm putting, when you cut those triangles off, it takes a little bit of that cardstock off and now we'll only have one little layer to pull. So hopefully that'll still strengthen the wall, but lessen the thickness <laughs> for our punches. You could always leave the little finger hole off. I just think it looks really nice. All right, a little bit of liquid glue on all four of our squares. And then I've got some clothespins. This is how I hold my boxes together. Here in South Texas where it is nice and sticky most of the time, I find that liquid glue is the best adhesive for these kinds of things. It's not gonna come out off, it's not gonna pop off when, when they pull it. It's gonna stick. Tear and tape would work as well as um, Stamp and Seal Plus. So you'll just have to play around in your area and see what works best. I do really like tear and tape a lot too. All right, you wanna make sure that these edges are lined up. All right, oh, and you know what? I knew I was gonna forget. Before you adhere it, you need to stamp these ends with the seed. We'll try it. I knew I was gonna forget to do that. We'll stamp the ends with the little seed stamps. Okay, the last piece is the little divider, and this is really easy. You're gonna burnish the middle one, like in half, and then burnish the others outward like that. So you have this little peak. And then you can just take some adhesive. You can even, if you want, adhere this peak together like this. And then you lay it down in your box, kind of the midway point. Get it straight and then push it down. And you've got a little divider for your drawer. Okay, while those are drying and setting up, let's do our stamping and get our sentiment made. Um, let's go ahead and let's see, the only thing we're gonna die cut is our alphabet. I just wanted to show you how fun this die is. Usually, I like alphabet dies. Where did I put it? But let's be honest, it's a little tedious, right? All those little dies, but this one, they put them all together on one die. And there are multiples of some of those letters that you use a lot, like the E, we're gonna use the E twice. There's two of them on here. So you just run it through once, and you have all your letters. I've lost the T, let's see, here it is, it's stuck to my sheet, and the I, it's still stuck in the die, but we don't need that one. Okay, so we've got that, and let's get our um, stylus shape stitched banner. And I'm gonna take my, take your pick tool, and I'm gonna set them on here first to arrange them. One thing you could do if you want, if you don't wanna mess with the liquid glue, is to put an adhesive sheet on the back of your cardstock before you cut it. Then your, whoops, your um, letters are stickers and all you have to do is peel off the backing. You decide, for the video I decided it would be a little bit quicker if I use glue. 
Okay, very carefully. Just a tiny dot will do. Uh oh. And if you move, work quickly, you can move them around if you need to. The only problem with the glue is that then it does leave kind of a little shiny spot. So try your best to get them right the first time. There we go, I think it did pretty good. Isn't that a cute little font? If you're a scrapbooker, oh my gosh, this is a great die for scrapbooking. Okay, so let's set that there. Um, we are gonna do kind of some just random stamping here on this piece. This is from our tools paper. This is also a celebration item that you can choose free with a $50 purchase. This grid pattern, I love grid pattern. I love writing on it, I love stamping on it. I couldn't wait to use it. So obviously we're not using the tools, but we are using the grid. All right, so we're gonna use Flirty Flamingo and Granny Apple Green. And when I stamp these two set, two step stamps, I actually like to do the rind first, but because we're just gonna, oh goodness, did you guys see what I just did? We don't need a green watermelon inside. But because of the way I'm gonna situate these on here, I feel like I need to do the flirty flamingo part first. So it'll be all right. So you just wanna stamp the fruit two or three times. And I found that I didn't, I didn't put mine equally. You, there's actually one under here. <laughs> you can't see it. So now that I know where I'm gonna do my centerpiece, I'm gonna stamp this a little bit differently, like, well, let's do it like this. Let's kind of do it out like that, okay? Now we'll take, let's move that out of the way so I don't have a pink rind. Now we're gonna take this, the rind, and we'll line it up with the images that we stamped. It really is easy both ways. I just found I was a little bit better when I stamped the rind first and the fruit second. Okay, now let's get the little watermelon seed and we'll just stamp some seeds on our fruit. There's also a stamp that has the three seeds that you can stamp at once. I feel like I can get a better spacing when I use the single seed all right, and then I'm just gonna boop, stamp our seeds all over the place, making it look like a, you know, after you have a big party and everybody's eating watermelon, this is pretty much what your table looks like. Okay, that's good. Now, while we have our stamps out, we're gonna do one just on basic white paper. I can get it picked up. I think I will do the green first this time. Do you think my paper is tall enough? I thought I would have room for my sentiment, but I think I might need to grab another piece of basic white. All right, stamp that right there. And let's use the three seeds this time. And then how about we do the single seed along the bottom like that. All right, very good. Here we go. Now stamp your sentiment right on the edge because we're gonna cut it with a trimmer. Okay. All right. Let's see, I have my little trimmer right here. And I'm gonna cut this. Let's see, it's about half of an inch wide. If I can hold it straight. I'm gonna cut that. Now we don't need the word sweeter because we're gonna use our little die cut letters for that. Enjoy the hmm, things in life. Okay. And then we'll take our paper snips and cut out our watermelon slice. It's very easy to do. Just stay right on the outside of the image. Follow it along, giving it a white, a little white border. 
cut off your extra so that you can get in there. There we go. The other things that you're gonna need are a two and a half inch vellum circle, a, a radiating stitches heart that is cut um, from the zoo, zany zoo papers. And we're gonna layer these up. Let's put this on our circle first, like that. And then we know where to put our dimensional on our circle. And we'll get our banner and put that kind of overlapping a little bit like that. And then we'll take our uh, heart. I'm going to put the heart right here, slide it behind. And then our little words. We'll also use dimensionals because. Why not? Enjoy, let's put that like this. Enjoy the sweeter, and I think I'm gonna cut this down just a little bit, make it a little bit skinnier. Things in life. We're gonna add a bow, but let's bring this over and adhere it first. Where you, this is the side that we um, adhered over. So I'm gonna put that rough edge there on the back. So this is the front. And I'm gonna add this piece right here. Okay, there's our tunnel. We need a bow. I've got our black and white gingham. And we're just gonna make like a little bow, not too terribly big. Okay, we need a mini glue dot for this guy. Put that right there. Okay, now let's look at our box. Now remember, I forgot to stamp the seeds. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. I think I can do it. There we go, yeah. It, but it would be way easier if you do it before you put your box together. I'm just putting my finger behind. There we go. Should we do the other side? Okay, we'll just do it real quick. And they can just be random. And actually, the paper's pretty stiff around the edges. There we go. Okay, now get your circle punch. I'm going to use my one and a fourth. Hopefully it fits. And I'm just going to put a little finger notch right there like that. And we've got our divider. I think I have an extra rum right there. Put your little drinks in and let's even put some watermelon candies in there. Where's my other drink packet? Here we go. Okay. Now let's slide it in and think about who we're going to give this to. There we go. All right, you guys, this is a fun project. I hope you'll give it a try. Um, the box is a great design. If you have other themes that you wanted to do with a boozy treat, those little, these little things come in multiple flavors. Um, so give it a try. Look at your stamps, think about what you can make, and have fun with it. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. Click the link here on YouTube. Go get that free PDF and let me know if you have any questions. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.